DC to also come and apologize because if my apology is useful to calm uh, some uh, dissatisfaction or to assuage people's uh, feelings mm. and hurts, then the NDC's apology uh, must come to all Ghanaians uh, because they grossly misled this country uh, into almost uh, de degenerating into chaos when they misrepresented their position to their uh, party supporters saying they had won the election when they know they didn't win the election. Uh, they, they misconducted themselves grossly by going out there and assassinating the character of the Supreme Court, the personalities on the bench, by saying that they are unanimous FC uh, for ruling unanimously against them. When that was the right thing to do because they didn't have evidence, they must come to apologize. It is good, uh, accuracy, for our public morality for the NDC to do that. It is good for their own integrity to do that, because if they don't, uh, posterity will remember them and probably learn the wrong lessons from their misconduct to say that it's okay. Uh, you can do anything you want, even if you lose the election, go to court. Can you imagine what situation we'll have in this country when people decide to sue in perpetuity anything just because they feel like they, they can sue for it, no evidence whatsoever, a political party, so that CPP can get up tomorrow and go to court and petition the Supreme Court. Because when the NDC did it, what happens? TPP said they have won the election. Even though they have zero point something percent, they can tell you that that means it's 100 percent for them. Everything else that led them to record that 0.1 percent is because of electoral commission's processes. Uh, they, we disagree with their process of counting. They didn't count well. So even though we've got 0.1 percent, we have won the election. And they have basis to go to the Supreme Court and then compel the EC to come and testify. That is a gross misconduct we shouldn't have to encourage. So our call is, in, is appropriate and the NDC must respond to it. But you see, I don't see them responding to it. Even though I have apologized, as uh, Sam has uh, caused me to do, they will not. <laughs> and you see, and that is not good. Uh, uh, Felix, you, you've demonstrated um, a minute ago your consistency in, in advocating against uh, violence in your party. I think you should take up this one too. You should be able to begin to talk to the NDC and say, look, Chairman, uh, you, saw, you call him General Chairman or Chairman General? Anyone. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, tell him that, look, one, one of your first acts. Apart, apart from the, uh, the missed opportunity at the con uh, Congress in, accept in your acceptance speech to apologize and say, look, I knew all along we didn't have evidence. You have occasion to come out and apologize to Ghanaians and say, look, we got it wrong. Now I am the chairman. In fact, if you listen to the audio that we, we heard, uh, he was actually insinuating that the, prop the, the fault is as a result of the chairman's insistence on having somebody become their IT director. That is why they got into a situation where they couldn't collate their results. So in other words, he's blaming the former chairman for what situation happened in the election. They lost, but then pretended they had won. So he should say that now that I'm the chairman, we will not agree for somebody to be our IT director. We will not agree for so and so to be. So I apologize for the wrong thing that happened and our participation in this false uh, pretense that took us to the Supreme Court, which almost created violence in this country. In fact, some people got injured. Some people got manhandled because of that. It actually fought. Sam, I saw your face in that, in the, in the, in the, the march from Parliament to go to the EC's office to storm there as though you have won. What kind of pretense was that? Did you know that you have no evidence at the time when you were marching, led by your minority leader? Did you know? I mean, some... <laughs> you want to respond? To, you're, you're directly asking me for a response? <laughs> <laughs> we knew we won. You know... Hey, Bimi Sani, as an imagine. I'm okay, well, I guess it's never crash. You know, did you know that you don't have the evidence, but you were marching? And you say they put a brave face on, like, we have won, here we come. You see, so it's important for you to apologize. Um, um, but if you do it, it's good. If you don't, posterity will count it against you. Um, I think I agree with the position that uh, um, elections must be decentralized. That is long overdue. The costs alone should compel us to do it. The processes, the measures we must put in place to safeguard any disadvantage or any uh, seeming uh, abuse of the process 
should, should, that's a mental exercise. It's a capacity uh, for us to think and safeguard you know, any, you know, thing that would disadvantage anybody. That should not cost us money. It's because there may be a bit of time, um, a bit of investment in uh, technology, which will be sustained uh, over a period of time. Once you think it once and implement it, there's no need to go back and, and, and do anything except to improve it. And that will cut a lot of cost. In fact, the, uh, we would have, uh, I think, is he a Tamale Central uh, communication officer who passed on when he was here? Perhaps he will be alive today, but for all the hustles involved in movement and coming to Accra and all of that, I'm told he passed. I don't know uh, um, exactly. Farouk, I think. Farouk, yeah, yeah. That was a very unfortunate one. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, assuming that maybe we, we achieve this, perhaps he'll be alive all right today. So this, this is something we must do, especially in an era where as a country we are digitizing and doing a lot in that field, I think we should be able to. Uh, maybe, uh, Sam, uh, we have created a, a NIA card uh, which will help you uh, to implement this because then you can actually key the votes based on people's uh, national... The people of Lingo Pram Pram have registered <laughs> since March. And because you see, you the NIA is like, out of funds... You just fund, don't like good ideas. Because they're out of funds. Eh? No, I'm Sam, saying to you that Sam. the press conference you should be holding yesterday was to no, ask your to finance one. minister I'll, I'll to, to release funds to the NIA to print enough cards for the Ghanaian people. I'll come to that one. We want the Ghana card. Chika de Kobe. Ma, ma, right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so, so, so truthfully, there's, there's good ideas that we can implement in, the, mm. in that one. I think so there's, there's a, uh, an agreement on that. The press conference we had yesterday, Sam, I think I've talked about the, the idea that you apologized already. But you see, there is no basis. I find it difficult. I was just having a conversation about There's no basis to compare NDC leadership to MPP leadership. I don't know uh, uh, the media, what you are trying to do. Maybe, if, of course, it makes for good political discourse up and down. It gets some energized to talk about uh, uh, his uh, uh, chairman, his organizer, his communication officer, uh, that they are superior. I don't know what superiority they possess. They are in opposition. We are in government. We are not going to apply the same approach to our campaign. It's essentially different. What attitude they have in opposition and how they're going to approach their campaign with propaganda and the rest of it, we can't do that. And what they have elected, generally speaking, uh, uh, is a propaganda outfit designed to prosecute a campaign of lies, a campaign of accusation based on exaggerated facts, uh, and, and, and that is not what we are going to do. We are leaders, uh, I'm happy he, he knows our leaders well, chairman and team, a very measured, uh, you know, strategic individual, our general secretary, a uh, very calculating person as well. Uh, the, uh, our uh, youth, uh, not the youth organizer, okay, a youth organizer as well. He's been with the youth uh, wing for so long. Uh, our organizer transitioned from youth organizer to uh, national organizer. I think Yamin is coming to the national uh, leadership of their party for the first time. So I'm not really sure uh, the basis for that comparison. What we will uh, try to do, if it, uh, some things that we're panicking, is the invitation we want to extend and be clear about it to the NDC, that 2024 is not going to be about their propaganda because the group of people they have elected, we know that's their, uh, their stock and trade. We are saying that it has to be about ideas. And we are telling them early on that begin to orient yourself in that direction. This is not going to be a campaign of propaganda because we are going to call them out. And we're going to call you, the media, out also for not calling them out if they are engaging in propaganda because we have equal stake in ensuring that this country is preserved uh, and not to be sacrificed for the interest of the NDC. So uh, we are not panicked at all about the NDC. It's almost a question, comparing us is a question of making apples uh, look like oranges so you can compare them. They are not the same. We are, we are different, they are different. We are engaged in a different pursuit, they are engaged in a different pursuit. Ultimately, they must bring their ideas to the table, which I know they don't have, and we'll bring ours to the table and we'll, add, we'll uh, expand that for Ghanaians to see. We are in motion implementing certain policies that some and Felix will not disagree are the appropriate prescriptions for Ghana going forward. Ghana, if we must come out of the situations we are in, we must industrialize. Industrialization is the way forward. All the problems we are facing today is because we are, uh, we are an economy that is dependent on global production. 
We have an economy that has become a consuming economy. We must begin to produce. This government has laid a foundation. We'll build more on it, invest more in um, uh, our 1D, 1F strategy to ensure that Ghana become uh, a producing country, which would then help us create employment. Uh, by creating employment, stabilize our CD, uh, by cutting away uh, all these imports, and then begin to develop more sustainably. Uh, the programs that we're in uh, is going to help us long term bring our debt down to sustainable level. So really, Ghana, uh, the MPP, we are setting ourselves up for sustained long-term development, and we are inviting all Ghanaians to continue to support uh, this um, MPP and this government to give us development. But then uh, let the NDC not get any, any ideas because that we are struggling due to the global situation that they somehow have a chance in 2024. We are in this for a long haul. That the development if investments that we have made in this uh, administration, the eight years coming of the Nanado Danko Gufado administration, we are determined to sustain it. We are determined to make sure we build beyond this eight year term and ensure that what gains we have made we can consolidate. So, as it was in 20, uh, 2009 and through to 2016, when they came to vanquish all the gains we had made from 2000. Uh, 2001 to 2008, they cannot get the chance to do it. Once we are consolidated, they can come and try much later, by which time we'll just be in motion uh, and the button will be pressed for cruise control. They can just come and then enjoy the ride. So certainly the MPP is poised for victory and uh, the leadership the NDC has brought is no match in terms of ideas, but if in terms of Buga... You started by saying you are not going to do the comparison. But you, yeah, you, if, you, if you hear me land, you I, see. I mean, that's, that's, that's very nice. If, if you hear, if you, just, just hear me land. Let 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 me land. That's so I'm saying, no, no. So, so the NDC, the crop of leaders they have elected, they are not much for the MPP in terms of ideas. Mm -hmm. And so the comparison people are going to do should be on the, on the balance of ideas. That you can find a common ground to say they have some idea that is superior to MPP. But in terms of comparing individuals to individuals, it's like trying to make apples look like oranges so you can compare them. On ideas, any day, we have a superior set of ideas.